Here in Ohio, we have a strong, proud history of innovation and manufacturing, but we officially embark on a new era. Intel has chosen Ohio. They've chosen a site in Northwest Licking County to build two state-of-the-art fabrication facilities to make semiconductor chips right here in Ohio. One of the reasons why Ohio won this project, the whole country competed and Ohio won. And one of the reasons is we have a legacy of manufacturing in our state. It's in our DNA. We are really good at building things here. We worked very closely with the Ohio Department of Transportation and Governor DeWine's office to look at different possible routes and ultimately decided that using the Ohio River made the most sense. Ohio is a state that makes and moves things and certainly this is evidence of that. Intel is the flagship example of the momentum that Ohio has been experiencing over the last five years. They chose Ohio because they saw a partner that would be with them as they navigate uh, so many different challenges, infrastructure being one of them, and moving some of the very large critical capital equipment so it could be in place for their manufacturing operation to meet the needs of the marketplace. You're at the aorta to the Silicon Heartland and the heart of it all, Ohio. This is the Adams Ohio River Transit Access, which is where one of the companies that's building a part of the plant for Intel called the Air Separation Unit is taking these large loads you see behind me. They came up the Ohio River. They were offloaded to be staged here. And then in the next few weeks, we'll be making their way up to the site in Lincoln County. Of the largest pieces of equipment, when you factor in the trucks moving them, the equipment themselves, it's 270 feet long, 24 feet tall, and over 900,000 pounds. ODOT's role has been to analyze the route, make sure the infrastructure can handle a load this big. And it's been a lot of coordination with a lot of our local partners, making sure we can get through intersections and under lights and under bridges. It really does show off the talents that not only these haulers have, but the engineers and the different folks at ODOT have to, to make sure this route can work. We've been working with the Department of Transportation in Ohio for over a year on planning out the, the movements of these pieces. We've put some swivels on light poles to allow them to not have to be completely you know, disassembled and reassembled. It can just pivot 90 degrees for these pieces to pass through. To have that piece of equipment and the generosity of, of Intel to buy it, not just for their loads, but for any future loads that might come through here for another company, I think just shows the teamwork that goes into this. That's what makes Ohio the heart of it all. We've got the river where this was able to, to come into our state, and we've got the road infrastructure that allows us to transport it from that river to central Ohio where this plant is going. This port provides an opportunity for not just us, but for employers across Ohio, anyone with large items to, uh, to get them throughout the state. And it's access that is free and open. So if someone in our area wants to use this port, they're hooked in globally, right? We talk about this one going to Intel, but there have also been loads using this route that went to a plastics recycler in Hebron. And there are other companies that are looking at it and saying, wow, if Ohio can move this, what else could they move for us? When a company comes in there looking for a great location, a great workforce, a wonderful quality of life, Ohio has that balance. From a Jobs Ohio and really a Team Ohio perspective, we're here with them through the ups and downs of an ambitious undertaking. We want them to be exceedingly successful. So we help them from tooth to tail, from beginning to end. What an extraordinary opportunity for us to start right here at the heartland, at the beginning, the, the artery that is leading all of these super loads into Licking County where we're building Intel's Field of Dreams.